I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on logarithmic equation. We need to solve log to the base 3 of x square minus 3x plus 5 equals to 2. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. So let's rewrite the equation which is log to the base 3 of x square minus 3x plus 5 equals to 2. Now first step is to convert it into exponential form. So we could write this as x square minus 3x plus 5 equals to 3 to the power of 2. Correct? Now we can bring 3 square to the left hand side. So we can which let's say right 3 square is 9 right. So to solve further let's bring it to the left side. We get x square minus 3x plus 5 minus 9 equals to 0. That is x square minus 3x minus 4 equals to 0. Now we can factor this. We are looking for a product of minus 4, sum of minus 3. So it could be x minus 4 times x plus 1 equals to 0. That gives us two solutions. One is x equals to 4 and the other one is x equals to minus 1. Now in logarithmic equations, it is very important to always check your solutions, right? We do have answer here, but it's kind of important to understand that there could be an extraneous root. So let us substitute 4 and see for ourselves what do we get in the equation, right? So if I substitute 4, so we'll just check the value of log to the base 3 of x square minus 3x plus 5 with these values one by one. So if I write 4 here for x we get log to the base 3 of 4 square minus 3 times 4 plus 5 which is 16 minus 12 plus 5 which is log to the base 3 of 9 and which is indeed equals to 2. So it works for you, correct? So this is the right solution. The other value is minus 1. So what you could also do is just check for this particular value to be 9, right? That should work. So now we'll check only x squared minus 3x plus 5 for x equals to minus 1. So if I substitute minus 1 here, I get minus 1 squared times minus 3 times minus 1 plus 5 and that is 1 plus 3 plus 5 which is also equal to 9 so that will give us log to the base 3 of 9 equals to 2 so this value here also works for you correct so we have our answer here now we can surely write that the answer is that x equals to 4 and minus 1. So that is how you could actually solve and also check for extraneous roots in such questions. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you really like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.